Welcome back to pixelforlife.com PHP BB design series. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and get started. So go to file and new, and we're gonna name this PHP BB design. And our width is going to be uh, 800 pixels wide. You could do more, but for the specific design we're gonna do, it's only 800 pixels wide. And the height, we're just gonna put at 1,000. We'll just start with that and then hit OK and make sure everything else is set like mine. Now that we have our nice design, um, we need to go ahead and lay out some rulers. So go to View and Rulers. And once you're here, um, first of all, I want to separate the header. And this here is going to be the header section. Now, there's only one way to really do this, and that's to go to Fix Size, leave the width um, at 800 pixels, and put the height to one. 25 pixels and then you can click and drag this marquee tool selection up which will then allow me to go ahead and edit the rulers um, and I'm gonna clear the guides and bring this back down to right there and I'm gonna need that in a little bit and that's why I'm doing that all right, now that I've done that, I need to go ahead and drag out some side, um, side, some side ones here. Now, right here at this point is where our uh, template from the left side is actually going to start. Um, and you'll see, as the series goes on, you'll understand why I'm doing this more. But um, So we're going to go ahead and leave that, and then we're going to put another one approximately right there because we're going to create images in here status images and then we just need to go ahead and drag down um, starting about right here one and then two this is going to be our header where our uh, title will go in and then we're going to need um, another one right below it for the uh, actually no, we're not going to need that, so we're going to go ahead and drag this one down. And this here will be our content area, and we'll just ignore this section here once we get to that. But um, And that looks pretty good. So last thing I want to do is drag out a nice footer one. And I'll just drag it out there here. Now, my image is going a lot lower than your screen, uh, the screencast is, is able to grab, but um, it, it'll work out for you. So uh, just approximately 125 pixels for the, for the footer as well. All right, once we have that, it's time to go ahead and create some layers. I'm going to go ahead and name this first layer header. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill that with white for now, just as a, it's, it's just a placement holder right now. And we're going to uh, go ahead and just build the header right now. We're not going to go back and forth, so. Uh, one thing that I'd like to do right off the bat is go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and reset our brush here. Um, let's load some. Let's load some brushes. So we're going to replace brushes and go to desktop. I have them all in my Photoshop stuff folder here and. I'm going to load up the splatters brushes. And I kind of like this splatter here, but it's way too big. So yeah, about about like about like that is pretty good size. And then I'm going to make this be red. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and simply click here. And uh, it's okay that right now it's going below the header um, because it's supposed to. So it's okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my font uh, type tool here, and I'm going to put in um, the word go. And basically, I'm just kind of creating the logo here. I'm going to rotate that. I need to go and turn off snapping. That way I can freely move it around. And there we go. That's got the word go now. And then I'm going to put the uh, PHP BB and I'm going to make this be a nice dark gray color. And kind of like that. 
And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen tool, make sure that I'm on uh, paths, and I'm gonna click at the end of BB here, make this line come around like so. Go back to the header, create a layer right below it, and I want to right click, stroke path, simulate pressure, and hit OK. And I have the wrong brush selected, so I need to make sure that under brushes, I reset my brushes, and click on number five, and go back to the pen tool, right click, stroke path, make sure simulate pressure is on, and hit OK. And once I've done that, I can drag it above once again, delete the path, and we have a nice cool logo going on. Alrighty, so that's that's looking good. I'm liking where that's going. Now, for this header area, I'm going to go ahead and create a folder, and we're just going to name this header area. And I'm going to drag this layer and this layer into there. And then I'm going to create a new layer called Fade. And I need to make sure to delete all the other letters in there first. Fade. And gradient tool. I'm going to go ahead and select the black color for it. I'm going to start here. And make sure I'm on the default one. Drag that up like so. And after I've done that, I'm going to drag that to the very top. And then go ahead and drag these into the header area as well. Make sure they're above the other layers, though. Like that. And I'm going to look... First of all, I'm going to lighten this. I don't need it to be that dark. So about like that. And after I've done that, I'm going to create a new folder called Post Area. And I'm going to go ahead and drag from normal, and we're going to drag from above uh, the red area because it's going to come from behind that. And we're going to go ahead and select a nice greenish color here. I'm thinking kind of like that. Hit OK. And we might adjust these colors later. They're just kind of placement colors right now create a layer inside the post area and click and yeah we're gonna have to change that color I think um, so let's go adjustments hue and saturation so we'll desaturate it some and lighten it up a little bit and then I'm kinda liking this it's kind of a brownish tone kinda fits with everything so I'm, I'm liking the way that's looking there now, real quickly, I want to go back to the header area and go to Fade. And from this point down, I want to delete that Fade. Um, but first of all, grab that color and then delete the Fade. That way I can go back to my post area and just slap this color onto there like so. And that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm really liking where this is going. In the next lesson, we'll finish up our header area with some links. And uh, then we'll go ahead and continue down the post area. So hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website at pixelforlife.com. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.